Welcome back. Wesley Evans here, also known as Game 2000. I just want to thank you for all the love and attention that my first video has gotten, as well as the new members who joined up our community. It makes me so happy. It really means a lot to me as a fan. As I said in my first video, I'm giving you another video of experience. Now, this video will be part one. What do I mean by part one? Wait till the end. For now, let's get straight into it. You know from the previous video about how much of a fan I am, so there's no need to repeat my love story for the franchise. However, what I can do is fully express my love for Lady and the Tramp, starting with its beginning. It's time to go down memory lane through the massive town in New England. Let's start with the intro and opening. The opening of Lady and the Tramp is very memorable, being presented with the classic Walt Disney Presents, transitioning into the movie's title, followed by Bill and Note in the background. The movie hasn't even gotten into the first scene, but we are already impressed by the presentation. From here, we are presented with an inspiring quote and a beautiful view of New England on a snowy night. Just to let you know, I'm not going over everything, or else you will be here for a long time. Anyway, the view zooms in until we see a window of a home. Inside, we see a Christmas tree, already letting us know that Christmas has arrived, as you were hinted at from the snow outside. Princess are shown and talking to her in the background. Focusing on the present, in particular, a hand grabs it and hands it to a woman. You can tell that these two people have a magical connection. Meet Jim and Darling. Darling opens the present, and barking is heard, and when she fully opens it, a female puppy is shown. This moment is very special as it's our first introduction to not only Jim and Darling, but Lady as well. I remember I teared up as a kid and still do when I see this scene. Did you know this moment was based on a real life event that Walt Disney did for his wife on Christmas? Clever and cute, huh? Things get even cuter. Lady wanted attention from her owners, which makes sense as dogs love gaining attention. What I like is how different Jim and Darling act about the situation. Darling is more open to how Lady is acting, while Jim's being more demanding and showing discipline, showing that both owners love Lady, but one is just more mature than the other. Now, let's jump ahead. Time has passed and Lady is now older, six months old to be exact. She has grown, but still keeps the same mentality of how we remember her. She has a collar and also has dog friends of hers named Jock and Trusty, who are very loyal to her. We slowly learn more about Lady in this world, but it doesn't end there. Let's jump again, but for a different reason. Before, we presented with Lady and her family, but now we are in a different location entirely. Here we see Tramp at a railroad all by himself. However, he seems very comfortable, similar to how we saw Lady before in a different way. We can easily identify Lady and Tramp's lifestyles and how truly different they are. Throughout Tramp's introduction, we are shown how well he knows his way around. Again, how different he is from Lady, especially when it comes to their first meeting. But before we get to that, we must talk about something else first. Lady is shown outside in the backyard, all down. Jock and Trusty see her like this and wonder what's going through her mind. Lady says that she's confused about something. Jock and Trusty don't understand. Lady doesn't either. That is until Jock and Trusty get what she means. Lady wonders what they mean. During this, Tramp shows up overhearing their conversation. Right off the bat, Jock and Trusty don't like Tramp. Lady stays calm and quiet. Tramp continues about how he knows what's going on and sees it as a problem that Lady should be worried about as he had some personal experiences. Tramp then leaves. After what Lady heard, she doesn't know how to think anymore. Throughout the movie, we're given more about Tramp's character and belief. But like Lady, we don't understand why he feels this way. But Lady starts to think that all Tramp said was correct and what happened to her. Well, that's what she thinks. That's what she starts to wonder about what she's been seeing and what Tramp told her. Leading to Lady singing as she makes her way to Jim and Darling with Junior. Lady ends up seeing Junior with her own eyes and this instantly makes her relieve herself of the worries she once had. However, something unexpected happens. Jim and Darling are going on a trip and they decide to leave Junior. Lady, being the loyal dog she is, doesn't like this. Luckily, Jim and Darling have an idea. That bright idea of being on Sarah. Lady is fine with on Sarah until she gets completely thrown aside by the woman. Leading to Lady experiencing for the first time loneliness. Just like when she was a puppy. No matter how many times she tried, she would be sent away from Junior. Aunt Sarah saw Lady as a bad influence on Junior, which makes no sense if you remember how much Jim and Darling appreciated her. Things get worse when something happens that wasn't her fault, as was thanks to some troublesome Siamese cats, resulting in Lady getting punished by wearing a muzzle. Now, from here, we're going to skip ahead. What happens next changes everything for not only Lady, but us too. Tramp saves Lady from a life or death situation. Then Lady and Tramp go to many places. However, one place changes everything. Tony's restaurant. We were shown it earlier with Tramp, but this was Lady's first time. This works because we were shown earlier about how Tramp knows his way, unlike Lady. Plus, it shows how open Tramp is in sharing and making new memories. Of course, we all know what happens next. The two dogs eat spaghetti and fall in love. But one thing I didn't mention in my last video was Bella Note. And if you're a
following along, you will remember that Bella Note was played earlier during the intro. So you can kind of say this was a reprise. This wasn't the first time this happened, as it happened again in the future. But let's focus on one thing at a time. After their romantic dinner, Lady and Champ go on a romantic walk, leading to Vera's Park, leaving their marks on a heart and some wet cement using their paws, fading with them on a hill before fading out. After this amazing moment, Lady gets worried as she thinks something's not quite right. Champ thinks otherwise, but then agrees to help Lady. However, plans change when Le Champ gets an idea. Odin leaves the problems occurring. Lady ends up being captured and sent to the pound. Here she meets more dogs and learns more about Tramp and his past history, completely changing how Lady sees Tramp, all thanks to Peg's song and her history with Tramp. Lady's shift in her viewing towards Tramp is showcased excellently, to the point where Lady doesn't want to do anything with Tramp and his nonsense anymore, making Tramp feel very guilty by himself, hinting at his arc. What happens next is where his redemption arc gets to shine, but that's not all. Lady was dealing with other problems as something else was even greater, even more than Cyan Am. The one thing that towered it all was devious rat. This rat was shown earlier and Lady knew it was a bad sign. Things were getting out of control, but luckily something or some dog prevented it. But who? Lady? Jock? Trusty? No, that dog was Tramp. Even after what happened between him and Lady, he wanted to help make things right. However, it only led to more problems as Tramp was now in trouble. Now he needed help. Luckily he did, thanks to Lady and others, as what he did showed how a dog like him could change. So Tramp was saved from the pound, but it was at the cost of Trusty almost dying. Speaking of that, Trusty was originally supposed to, but Disney went against it. Just wanted to mention that. So instead, Trusty only suffered a leg injury. This brings us to the ending. Just like the opening, it's Christmas once again. But that's not all. We were presented with some surprises. Trump now has a collar showing that his arc has been completed. He's now part of a family. Not only that, but he and Lady also started a family as well. This was slightly hinted at earlier during the part where Tramp was outside a pet shop looking at puppies. Talk about foreshadowing. What a beautiful way to end a story. This movie is truly a gift to behold. It will always be in our hearts. That brings us to the end of the video. Thanks for watching. I had so much fun going over this amazing masterpiece in depth. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I have another video like this planned for Scamp's Adventure. That will be part two. See what I did there? But if you want that video to happen, get this video to at least 11 likes and 200 views. Also, attract more viewers than my last video. These videos aren't easy and take lots of dedication and time. Anyway, thanks for watching and stay loyal, Barking Community.